Hello, this is Bethany Daly with Getting It Paint, an authentic knitting board, and I'm bringing you today the newest installment in our Stitchology series, where we bring to you wonderful new stitches that you can create on your knitting looms. And today, we are going to be doing this really pretty all over lacy hearts stitch. Isn't that lovely? With all, that all over lace design. It's very, very easy to do. And I would like to show you how to do that right now. So I've just um, cast on a foundation, few rows for our foundation here, just to get us started. Now, the stitch pattern has eight stitches in it. And I have cast on between our markers here is one through eight and then I've just repeated it one more time so that it's uh, so you can get another view of it on the video and then I just have two outside stitches just to keep us um, give us something on the edges to fill out the stitch so these are just going to be knit and then our actual stitch pattern starts in here so I've cast on from left to right and then just done a couple rows of knits and pearls and now we're at our uh, right side we'll be working clockwise and this is a panel knit but if you are going to work the stitch in the round it's going to be the exact same instructions um, for both working a flat panel as well as working in the round so uh, I will go through that as we as we go along so that you'll know what we're talking about for doing it in the round as well okay so our first stitch remember is just our filler stitch I'm just gonna knit that so the first stitch in the pattern is a yarn over SSK which is an abbreviation for slip slip knit and that is a decrease going it's which slants to the left so to make our yarn over, we're going to just take this stitch where the, the yarn over peg should be on number one, and we're gonna just move it over to the SSK peg, which is number two. And what that does is creates, first of all, it creates an empty peg to make our yarn over, and then it also sets up our SSK decrease which will be a left leaning decrease so for this stitch pattern I am just going across loosely the front of the empty peg and I just put my thumb there to give it a little bit of looseness to uh, the tension of the yarn over so that it doesn't pull too tight and then I'm just going to knit these two loops over one and there you go now we've created a yarn over and an SSK and then the remainder of the pattern is to knit and that will be six pegs so I'm using the U stitch for my knitting stitch and there we have it we've knit six now here's where the pattern starts over so the first peg in the eight isn't yarn over ssk so we move this over to the left to the ssk peg hold the yarn over with our thumb to create a bit of the perfect tension for that eyelet to show up knit the bottom two loops over and there's your SSK yarn over SSK and then we will knit the remaining six stitches for the pattern and this marks peg eight and then we're just going to do our extra filler stitch right here okay now uh, for this pattern the next row and all even rows are knit you just knit all of the pegs 
And so if you were working in the round, you would have cast on in a clockwise direction and you would knit your first row of the pattern and then come around and your next row would then all be knits. For this one, we're coming back the other direction for knitting in a flat panel. So we're just going to knit all of those stitches. Okay, now that is, we've just completed row two of the pattern. There are, just so you know, 16 patterns, or 16 rows total in this all over Lacey Hearts pattern. So row three, we're going to do this extra little knit, and row three starts with a knit one, and then there is another yarn over SSK which is starts here at peg two. So you move the loop from peg two to peg three, which is our SSK peg. Carry the working yarn in front. Knit two over one here. And then there's our yarn over SSK. And then you will knit three. And then the pattern has a knit two together and a yarn over. So in order to create a knit two together, it's the same as an SSK, except that it leans to the right. So in order to create that on this peg, we need to take the loop from the yarn over peg and move it one over here to the knit two together peg one to the right, and then knit two over one. And then that's our knit two together peg, and then one yarn over, and then it goes directly into the next repeat of the pattern. So that first stitch in our repeat is a knit, and then it is a yarn over SSK. So SSK is to the right, so we take the loop from the yarn over, carry the working yarn across the front, knit off two stitches, then we knit three, and then we have our knit two together yarn over. So remove from the yarn over stitch, or yarn over peg, the stitch moves over to the knit two together. So we create a right leaning decrease, and then we knit two loops over one, carry the working yarn over for the yarn over right into the next stitch which in this case is our extra stitch. If you were doing a uh, wider pattern, it would go, you know, you'd keep continuing the stitch or in the round, continue it all the way around till you get to the next peg. And of course, the next row of the pattern will be row four and it is all knits, whether you're going in the round or panel knitting. So we're going to knit all the way to back to peg one. Okay, there I've just completed row four of the pattern. Now we're going to do row five. Do our extra stitch out here, knit. And row five starts with two knits. So one, two, and then another yarn over SSK. So on peg three, we're going to move it over to create our yarn over and our SSK peg on peg four. There we go. And then it is just knit one. 
and then we come to a knit two together yarn over so the yarn over peg is here so move that over to the knit two together peg which would be one to the left or I'm sorry to the right knit the two bottom loops over yarn over and just hold with your thumb and then it ends with a knit one and then we go right into the second pattern repeat so knit two then it's a yarn over and a ssk knit just one this time Oops. and then we have a knit two together yarn over yarn over and the final stitch of the pattern is a knit and we have our extra all right then we will complete our row back of all knits for row six of the pattern Okay, then row seven starts with a yarn over, knit three together, and yarn over again. So, you know, when there's a yarn over, that's where we will move the, the loop from that yarn over peg over to the decrease peg, correct? So this one has, this is where we're going to be doing the knit three together on the second peg of the eight. So there's yarn overs on either side. So we're going to start with the one on the right and move it to our knit three together peg. Then the one on the left, which is peg three, that loop will go to the knit three together peg as well. Now we're going to just carry the yarn in front of peg one. Hold it with your thumb to keep the tension perfect. Then knit off on peg two, one loop, two loops, and finally the third loop for your knit three together. Then peg three will have a yarn over, and then we will knit three. One, two, three. So now we will finish this row with a yarn over and an SSK. So remember that's the left leaning decrease. So we move it from the yarn over peg to the SSK peg. Carry it across the front and then knit two loops over one. Then we will repeat the pattern here for our peg one of the second pattern repeat. So that is going to be our yarn over, knit three together, yarn over. So we'll move the loop from the yarn over peg one to peg two, and the yarn over peg on peg three, that loop is going to move to peg two. Carry the loop your working yarn across peg one and then knit three over one that's a little snug it helps before uh, working row seven if you work the knits on row six just a little bit looser so you're not pulling those the knit three together is a little too tightly so then it's knit three
and then a yarn over SSK. There we go, and then our extra filler stitch here. Okay, so then row eight is going to be all knits. So meet me back here as soon as you are done with those. Okay, I've just finished the knits on row eight. And we're gonna go into the second set of eight rows for the 16 row repeat and what this is doing let me show you actually on um, the square that I've done the first six rows or I'm sorry the first eight rows make one row across of the full hearts and then the next set of eight is what creates the alternating so it makes it offset from the previous rows so this equals from here to here it equals the 16 rows so you'll have two full rows of complete hearts that are offset from one another so let's go through the steps to create the second row of offset hearts so we're going to start that with row nine and it starts off with four knits. So we go one, two, three, and four. And then it's a yarn over SSK. Okay. So we carry across on the yarn over peg and knit two over one and then it ends with a knit two knit two and then we're going to start the pattern over again for another eight stitches so it's knit four one two three, four, and then a yarn over SSK. So we move that stitch over one to the left, hold the yarn over across the front, and just hold it with your thumb for the proper tension, and knit two over. And then it ends in knit two. And here's our extra stitch. Okay, then of course, row 10 is going to be all knits. So go ahead and do that and meet me back here when you get those done and we will do row 11. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay, I've just finished all the knit stitches for row 10. Then we go to row 11. And it starts with knit 2. And then on peg 3, it is a knit 2 together. And peg 4 is a yarn over. So we take our loop from peg 4, the yarn over peg, and move it to peg three for a right leaning decrease and then we knit two together here on peg three to create our knit two together and then carry the yarn across the front for the yarn over peg four and then it's a knit one and now it's a yarn over SSK so that is a left leaning decrease Yarn over loop goes to the left and you're going to just carry the working yarn across the yarn over peg and knit two together and it ends in a knit one for the eight stitch 
pattern repeat. Now we're going to do it one more time. So it begins with a knit two, then it's a knit two together, yarn over, yarn over, stitch moves to the knit two together peg. And then we knit off two over one, carry it across the yarn over peg and knit one. And then it's a yarn over SSK. And directly into the final knit one and then our extra stitch here. Now the next row is row 12 and of course it's all knits. So go ahead and do those. You may pause the video and meet me right back here and we will go over row 13. Okay, just finished all the knits for row 12. Row 13 starts with a knit one. So I'll do the extra knit and then here's our knit one. And then a knit two together, yarn over. So we come to the yarn over peg, move the loop over. Two, one to the right and then knit off. Two over one. Carry it across the third peg for our yarn over peg. And then it's a knit three. One, two, three. And then we have a um, yarn over SSK for the last two uh, pegs of the stitch repeat so yarn over goes one peg to the stitch from the yarn over peg one peg to the left carried across the yarn over peg and knit two over one just like that now we're going to repeat the stitches and it starts with a knit one and a knit two together yarn over Knit three and then a yarn over SSK for our last two stitches of the pattern stitches. And then our extra peg, of course. And then we will work row 14 as all knits whether you're going in a panel or in the round. And remember that the next row, row 15, will be incorporating a knit three together. So make sure to work row 14, just to make sure to make it a little bit looser than you, you might normally. Not a lot, not super loose, just a little bit of give to your stitches so that you can work that knit three together with ease. And I will meet you right back here when we're done with knitting row 14. And see, I'm just kind of giving it a little bit more of a pull when I go back on my U stitch so that it has more, just a tiny bit more room to move. Okay. And that completes row 14's knits. So row 15 starts with a knit two, one and two, and then it's a yarn over SSK. So we move this 
the, peg, the loop from peg three moves to peg four for our yarn over. And then we work two over one for our SSK. And then directly following that, it goes into a yarn over, knit three together, and a yarn over. So like we did it before, we're starting with the, the loop on the right. So that would be one, two, three, four. Peg five goes to peg six, which is the knit three together peg. Peg seven goes also to peg six on the knit three together peg. And then we carry the yarn over for our yarn over <laughs> and then knit off three over one. And then and the final yarn over and it goes directly into stitch eight, which is a knit one. Okay, let's do that again. So knit two, and then it's a yarn over SSK. And then yarn over, knit three together, yarn over. So move the yarn over on the right to the knit three together peg. Then the yarn over on the left, which is stitch seven, to the yarn over peg. Carry the working yarn across the first yarn over. Knit three over one. And then the final yarn over and into peg eight, which is a knit stitch and then our extra stitch that we have here. Okay, and then row 16 will complete the stitch pattern and that is going to be all knits. So that's how it, it finishes the 16 row pattern for your all over lacy heart stitch. Thanks for joining us today and I'm so looking forward to sharing another stitch with you next month.